Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you aren't subscribed yet, definitely click the subscribe button down below. It helps me out. We finally uncovered the S13. Unfortunately, it's not to work on it to make it better, but we're actually going to start removing stuff. This motor is officially going into this car. I know this was going to be the Japanese Corvette, but I truly think the LS just deserves to go in there. Do you approve? I approve. All right. So we're going to go ahead, take the hood off, and then um, probably going to disconnect the drive shaft, disconnect the shifter stuff, all the fun stuff, drain the coolant, and then remove the intercooler piping and stuff and get ready to mock it up in here. Started doing body work to the bay. Um, I want to shave this. So we are actually going to test fit the motor real quick, mark the intercooler cuts. So we can go ahead and cut the holes for the intercooler and then we can go ahead and paint this. There's going to be a warm day in like five days. So I'm going to try and use that day to paint the bay. So we got a lot of work to do on this car, getting it, um, getting it stripped down. This bay is also going to get painted since uh, it's going to be bare for the first time since I've had it. So this car is officially getting my Aluminum block L33. Shout out to Josh Hogan and TV powder coating for this. I'm gonna put the camera down and yeah, start start chopping up at it. I'll catch you guys up every so often. It's kind of boring watching me strip this car down, so catch you up in a little bit. All right, so a lot has happened since I last caught you up. I actually got the exhaust off, the drive shaft off. TK got the intercooler, intercooler piping, got the rad off. The, uh, yeah, basically everything right here. I'll just cut to it. Um, started disconnecting the plugs, disconnected, you know, the fuse box and whatnot. Literally just got to remove some HVAC and stuff, and it's pretty much ready to go, but we're taking our time. I think I'm going to disconnect the power steering. I don't know, I really just want to get it out of here. Probably keep this on here for now, honestly. But yeah, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep chugging at it. Try and get it ready to be pulled tomorrow and then we can mock it up in the engine bay tomorrow. So catch you guys up here soon. Alright, so we finally wrapped up for the night. I was hoping to get the motor out, but time was not on our side. But it's literally all wrapped up. Power steering disconnected. Throttle cable disconnected. The only thing left is fuel lines and the clutch um, clutch line. Do that tomorrow. Uh, drive shafts disconnected. Uh, yeah, everything, the exhaust is off. So basically we removed all the wire harness, got it right there pull it through and stuff whenever the motor is out. We are going to probably try and pull it tomorrow and then test fit it in here. Once we test fit in here, we can do the cut the intercooler piping and whatnot. So it should go in there nice and easily. Um, honestly, I'll just buy a wiring specialties pro harness and it should go in with ease. Sucks it's a little expensive, but yeah, so this yeah, I'm pretty happy with how everything went. Coolant did not look too good, but we're getting there. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're quitting for the night and we'll pick back up tomorrow, see you then. So it's a nice summer day, right? Might be wondering why I got the gloves on. Not even a summer day, it's literally like 40 degrees, but it feels like summer we live in Eastern. We live on the East Coast of the United States, 40 degrees and the uh, end of December feels really good. But just in a car check you know it's like a summer day right checking the cars checking cars these are all good because they're like those windows are wide when this is good can't get in there i guess came back here to look at the zanke she having a field day so got the garbage can look they got a hold of the mega squared stuff where was the other one? Oh yeah right here look at this all right so it's a new day and i think the engine's finally ready to be pulled um went ahead disconnected the fuel lines 
Uh, I just pulled the whole master with it because it is going to be getting a new master for the motor that is going to go in here. Yeah, jack these uh, S14 seat belts. We're going to use that to lift the car. All I have is two transmission mount bolts and yeah, two motor mount bolts. I'm going to do it from the bottom. So we just pull the whole mount out with it. That way we can plug it right in. So we're going to go ahead, tie up the uh, thing to get the motor out, jack the car up, get the transmission mounts off, get the engine mounts off. And we are, yeah, we're ready to roll. So all we got left is motor mounts. One, two, bam, bam. Got that ready. Got the jack on the transmission. So yeah, I, I fucking, I let it plop down. I'm upset I did that, but oh well. Um, yeah, you know, like Chris fix it. I don't know what to say. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the final motor mount bolts, pull the motor mounts up with it right from the subframe. And then we're gonna pull it out. Then we're gonna put it like right there probably. I don't know. I'm super worried that we're going to not have room for this, but I'll put a hole in the fucking ceiling. I don't even care at this point. I'm upset that I used my blue seatbelts too. <laughs> I wish this were the black ones, damn it. But I'm going to put the phone down, release or remove the bolts holding the motor mounts. Yeah, and she's ready to go. So wish us luck. That literally came out butter smooth. The rest of the whole thing goes that way. We're in luck. So, SR officially out. This is the first time I've actually pulled this SR. What? Huh. This is the first time I actually pulled this SR. So it's nice to be able to like, take a deep dive look. It's kind of nice to see the bay too. No it's rust. Not too bad. No. No rust in the usual spot. So, motherfucker's happy. Too much trans fluid on the ground. I'm really upset about that, but should have drained it and not been lazy. It is what it is. So this car is going to go back on the ground for, I don't know, some time now. I need to put a couple bolts back in the place so they're there. And then we are going to disconnect the transmission from this so that, you know, we can see what we're working with. So this is officially going to be going into here. So we're going to separate the transmission from the block so that we can mock it up in here. We know where to cut our intercooler piping. We're going to pull it back out and then cut the hole, start the body work. So mission successful. If you guys enjoyed that 13 content and working on it and pulling the motor, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Definitely hit the subscribe button because you don't want to miss what's going into the S13 now. It's going to be it's gonna be a little rocket ship next year. What do you think, TK? I'm oh, definitely gonna have to let great. TK drive it because I agree. <laughs> <laughs> it's been helping me. So I'm gonna clean up this spill, dress some things, uh, clean it up a little bit, disconnect the trench from there, and yeah, we're gonna let her go. Definitely stay tuned for new content. I'm gonna be coming out with content a lot more often. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. It's a lot of work, but it's all for the pro forward progress. As always, guys, keep building your dreams because your dreams ain't going to build themselves. Peace.